on a chain grabbing like they didn't like it was just it was just so, such a such a joy to just witness happen. I heard Street Fighter Five was also pretty sick. Top eight. I, I missed. I unfortunately missed that. I was planning on watching it day two, but I was also I was gonna watch it. I as was well. I was watching Smash Four and I got bored, so I turned the stream off and playing some Overwatch. I was watching stuff. Smash. <laughs> I was watching Smash 4, and then like I think I wanted to watch Game of Thrones. Yeah, I like on, I stopped watching Smash 4 like, after I saw like just everyone play like their first matches. Just like I wanted to see who was yeah. in top eight, but uh, I got a little bored. I got, Wait, I got bored. I got bored like watching the Buzz fight. Like whoever. <laughs> Wait, America almost got into top four. <laughs> of uh, of what? Of Street Fighter. Oh really? Yeah, that's Dang, incredible. That's actually, hype. that's actually sick. Because uh, before Melee was Guilty Gear, and that was pretty. That's pretty Japanese dominant. I think there was an American like losers finals for Guilty Gear, or like a losers finals. No, I think finals there was like one in losers semis. semis. There was definitely there was, uh, there was definitely someone in top eight that was playing my tractor sexy. He had to be American, but yeah. Oh, is this a tournament match? Uh, yeah. This I know this is a bracket match. Oh, this uh, bracket. Black Sozy from South Florida versus uh, Captain Crunch. Uh, not grand finals. Captain Crunch, our good old, good old Fox main. Good old Fox main. Uh, used to live here. Now has moved up to Maine. Yeah, lived over. Uh, grew up with uh, H Box. You know. One could. Uh, uh, I would argue that as of like right now, uh, Captain Crunch is like the dankest New England player that they have. The dankest. He's definitely the dankest. I mean, it, uh, you know, I don't he's, know. He's like legendary. He's legendary. Mafia is Okay, Ma uh, Mafia is like the good kind of like, good. never mind. Wait a oh, second, yeah. let me rephrase that. He's a legend. Captain Crunch, like since moving to New England, oh, it's the greatest. I, I, think, I think it's pretty cool that someone like him did end up uh, moving regions and just showing how like solid our, like Florida is like at yeah, that yeah. level, you know, like he never was really like, Super like standing out, and I feel like since he moved there, he's just been able to stand out even more. I think he's got a lot more motivation too nowadays. So he's been looking pretty good, and this set or this game's been looking really good for him. It's been all Captain Crunch. Uh, he hasn't been able to get KO'd. He's just been like recovering really uh, smart. Like again with that angle, why so is he not able to capitalize on it? You know, there are there are memes to be had in this thing. Like Sozi was just looking for him to recover high in both of those last situations. Like here again, or there he goes high that time. Crunch just constantly mixing it up. But uh, that was a pretty bad angle. I, I think he might be messing up his angles a little bit. Oh, maybe missing but up a little bit. He's definitely shield, mixing it up good enough to where he's just not getting edge guarded really at all. Like, and he's just getting many more openings than Lysozi. Yeah. That was really good coverage by Captain Crunch. You know, yeah, covered, covered like the lower just, angle. Uh, I'm surprised we didn't just see the up smash come out there, but it goes for the grab, and it's definitely enough. Able to get that edge guard. Yeah, after Pluck was out of the tournament, I uh, I just left. Yeah, I left too, to be honest. Um. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, keyboard head. Okay, Captain Crunch. Like Captain Crunch gets something hype going here, maybe. Oh, let's go! Great Man, portal. That be, Man, oh, oh wow, misses that, the shine. That uh, that, that perfect shine. shine. Yeah, that perfect edge guard shine misses it, unfortunately. Oh, that was weird. Okay. Oh, Lysozi barely missing as looked like a really yeah, nice setup. Yeah, it looked like a really good setup. Looked like he had it. Uh, Plup is like a really, really nice person. Like if you just don't know him and you go up to him, he's like the nicest guy ever. But when you get to know him, his humor is like douchey. You know, really? like when he's trying to be funny, he'll just be a douche to you. But that's like that's just his, that's, that's just, just how he's thing. funny. You know? Yeah, like Plup he's, he's is a, a bully, bully. But like, no, but love, by that, if he's him. ever a bully to you, then that means he's just like he like you're his homie. You know? All right, Captain Crunch taking that pretty solidly. Uh, like, so is he definitely going to have to make some adjustments here, but, you know, in a Fox Ditto, it's pretty, like, back and forth. Like, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Lysozi could keep the next game close or even Lysozi, dominate for a portion of the Lysozi, match. Lysozi, you know, Lysozi has his blinker on right now. He's, like, trying to get over, and, like, Captain Crouch is, like, you know, like, right there, like, in his, like, blind spot, and he's like, nah, bro, like, you, you got to... 
You're not moving, dude. dude I'm not letting you in. Dude, Cabin Crunch never lets anyone over <laughs> into the next Crunch lane. <laughs> never lets anyone into their lane. Even if they even if even they're like if they're signaling like, so their blinker hard. Is, his blinker is on. He's like waving at him like, yo, come on, dude, let me in. And Cabin Crunch is like, nah, bro. I'm not letting you in. You need to stay. You need to stay right there. And now, uh, Cabin Crunch has started this game off just pretty much pretty strong. took the last game right where it left off, you know. Getting some pretty good openings and punishes. Ooh. And wow, like, so is he going for the creative wall jump forward B, but, but Cap Crunch, Crunch just reacting with yeah. a perfectly timed shine there. I feel as though that, like, sometimes that's, like, a really standard Fox thing to do is to, like, just put your shine, like, right there at the edge, but, like... But that, the but, like, spacing that on it that was, was really... That spacing yeah, was, was definitely, really like, yo, I think I, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're going to be, like, right here. That was really good. That was a really good pickup by Cap Crunch. Yeah. And uh, definitely dominating. Okay. Gets a tech chase, tech but Lysozi will see if he can capitalize on this. Ooh, Ooh bad DI from yeah. the 4B. But, you know, Lysozi, see if he can get the fire started here. Oh, those shines. You know both those foxes are trying to shine there. One of the one of the things that I really like about the way that Cabin Crunch plays is that he always is, like, trying to... Uh, he's, like, really prioritizing, like, this center is game stage. Two. This is game two, Drunk Sloth. Uh, Captain Crunch is up 1-0 right now. Ooh, that was kind of sick. One of the things yeah, that I really Crunch. like about Captain Crunch is that he like he uh, he really uh, likes to prioritize like staying in center stage. Like there will be a lot of times when like he'll like he'll think about kind of like going into like you know like in really far when Lysozi is kind of like on the edge or like kind of you know further away from center stage. He'll kind of yeah. like run in and be like, eh, maybe I'll just stay in center stage this time. And then he get, you know he basically wins the next interaction because of it. Uh, you know, such a smart, it's such a good way, such a good way to, like, you know, approach the game. Yeah. Oh, getting the tech chase, but not quite connecting with that up smash. Good back here. Coming in, Captain Crunch coming in with the tilt. Dash dancing around. And get the back. that is looking back like here. curtains. Yep. Good set from uh, Captain Crunch showing his, uh... Yep. Captain Crunch... <laughs> 